I don't tend to talk much in person about my bowel condition. I think because I did that a while back when I sort of explained my condition to my friends and family. Um, then I remember doing a lot of face-to-face -face talking and at first I found it difficult, but it kind of got easier the more I got used to, um, used to sharing my story and sharing the details and working out what to share and what not to share. Uh, these days I do most of my talking um, online. Um, I kind of talk to the community. I talk with the, the IBD community online in the hope that by sharing bits and pieces about my life, just a normal guy who's been through some stuff and has kind of come through the other side and is, is doing okay. I kind of hope that by sharing that, it will help other people who might be faced with the same kind of problems that I was faced with um, six or seven years ago. Um, so I think my advice to anybody who's, who's looking to share, either because they want to give advice or because they need advice, I would suggest um, try sharing online, try talking online. The community is so supportive. Um, I'm sure you'll find plenty of people who want to help you and give you advice. Uh, or if you want to give help and advice, I'm sure um, that, you know, that it will be well received and, be and you'll be it will be of benefit to people. I haven't always felt confident about talking about my inflammatory bowel disease. Um, it's only since my surgery to have my ileostomy that I've sort of really talked about it. Um, I'd say that that is a real personal preference to whether you want to talk about it in any way, shape or form. Um, if you want to, but you're not quite that confident yet, I think give it time. Um, these are sorts of things that you can't compare to anyone else. It has to be the way you want to do it. Um, whether that's writing it down or doing a video or putting up a photograph, whatever that could be, whether that's online or to your closest friends and family. I think just take your time and work out your relationship with your disease work out your relationship potentially with your ostomy and just go from there. Do I feel confident talking about uh, bowel disease and uh, do I have any tips for anyone who is struggling to talk about it? Um, and so now the, the truth is that I do feel confident talking about it, but that took a long time to get to that point. I had the first operation in 2013, but I didn't really properly talk about it um, until 2018, so that's five years. So what was the revelation for me was that I was actually hiding it quite a lot, um, that everything I'd been through, or that I had an ileostomy bag, but it was actually quite detrimental at that point because I wasn't being sort of very open and authentic about my truth and the truth about my experiences. And so I did decide to do um, a video which went online um, about my health journey. And for me, that was amazing. But I had to be in the right place to do it. So don't put any pressure on yourself to talk about it. I think everyone has been through such a different, uh, different journey with IBD. I think it's completely up to you who you want to tell, at what time you want to tell them, you know. It, there's no right or wrong answer to talking about it, but I would encourage you when the time is right and the time feels right to be able to talk about it because there's nothing to be ashamed of. But it has to be the right time for you. I've always been fairly confident talking about having inflammatory bowel disease. It's not something that I've necessarily hid from people. The things I do struggle with, though, is um, admitting that maybe I need to go to the toilet or how often I'm going to the toilet, um, particularly if I've maybe soiled myself um, and had an accident. That, that's something that I definitely do struggle to talk to people about and admit that or admit that I want to make some changes because of how I'm feeling. That's something that I, I have struggled to deal with. Tips in terms of like talking to people about things, what I have learned over the years is the more that I'm opening up about my condition, the more that I'm opening up about the struggles that I've faced, it makes other people come forward and share their own struggles with life and like not necessarily inflammatory bowel disease, but I found other people are a lot more open to me and open up about things. So that's been quite rewarding as well. It's made me get to know people a lot better than I did before. Um, just because I'm open and honest about the things that I, that I struggle with as well.
my perspective of, on life has completely changed and that's because you learn how to empathize to a greater extent than you would in normal situations because you've been through something that is daunting that is possibly traumatic you learn how to connect with people who have been through something similar and I think that that is an invaluable thing to take away and if you're looking for a positive to take away that is one of the biggest positives that I myself have taken away from ulcerative colitis and my struggles with ulcerative colitis it also gives you a greater determination when you are having when you are forced into a situation where you have to complete work from a hospital bed rather than at a desk your sense of discipline and your work motivation will skyrocket and you carry that with you wherever you go and with whatever you do so for me my approach to life and my approach to anything that I set my mind to is solid there is no taking me off something that I am determined to do so and I think that is invaluable and in the end that will outweigh the pain and the negatives that go with bowel disease so if anything there is a big upside and for bowel disease it is the emotional aspect of things although it can be emotionally draining at times it gives you a lot of strength and it gives you a lot of perseverance and it gives you a lot of motivation with anything that you go into. Because I had symptoms of bowel disease from such an early age, to be honest, as young as I can remember, and I got diagnosed around age seven, um, I think it's very hard for me to sit here and say that my perspective on life has changed because of my bowel disease, because bowel disease, to be honest, is all I ever remember. I don't remember a life without it, to be honest, which in a way I think that's pretty sad and it does upset me a little bit if I sit and think about it for long enough but at the same time I haven't had to go from having a normal life to suddenly be plunged into this life of pain and living around the toilet and having my life taken away from me. I definitely say since my permanent ileostomy was formed in 2011 that my perspective on life has definitely changed and I think it sounds really cliche but the things that don't kill you make you stronger and I've used my struggles to turn those things into strengths. Yes, I struggle and I get bad days, but that's perfectly normal and human. Has your perspective on life changed since being diagnosed with the bowel disease? Uh, yeah, it has. Like, I, I, I don't take life for granted. I, I try and enjoy life as best as I can. I, um, I just live every day like it's my last. That's the best thing and that's the best way. Like, I've, had a, I've, had a, I've had it quite tough, but there'll be people out there who's had it worse. So I just don't take life for granted and I just do everything the best that I can do. Yeah, my perspective on life has definitely changed. Um, the first time I was diagnosed with bowel cancer was in 2012 and my whole outlook on life just completely transformed from then. Um, a lot came with that. I didn't have any children yet and when I was told that I could affect my fertility and just it was just life changing for me um it definitely made me appreciate life that wee bit more um and it definitely does now it's also changed me thinking and how i want to move forward career ways um and who do you have in your circle and just perceptions of things and people it's it's actually changed it in every way um for the better. Mm, has it changed me? Of course it has. It's changed for the better, because simply I am now much happier, much more confident, I'm not in any pain, I don't take any medication, I'm not constantly running off going to the toilet. I have just a little bag, which was in there, underneath my little hernia belt, so it's quite good. Has my perspective changed on life since having bowel disease? Um, I've always loved life and been a very positive person uh, throughout since well, since as far as I can remember. Um, but I suppose since having bowel disease and a bag on my side, yeah, uh, slightly. I've been I'm more. I'm, I totally believe my motto is my life is more important than somebody else's opinion. So if somebody do, doesn't like it, if I'm at the swim baths, for instance, and they see me bag, or then I don't really care because my life is more important. My happiness is more important. Um, me having a good day is more important than somebody else. 
uh, not being happy seeing a highly ostomy bag. So move on, basically. So it has changed a little bit. It's made me more, uh, more, more happy with myself. <laughs>